Hello, all my nerd friends out there. This is Mr. Chill here, and I want to talk to you guys about something. You know, I heard the news that Netflix is doing a live action My Hero Academia show, and that brought back some bad memories a lot of bad memories. I was like, oh my god, they're doing a live action My Hero Academia, really? And you know why it's bad memories it brought me back memories. If you know, if you watched the Dragon Ball Evolution, Avatar, Death Note, uh, even at some of the Japanese reorientation of movies, the Attack on Titan, like, ugh. And I know Jap Japan tried to do a lot of re uh, live action anime. It's just, they try their best, and then, nah, it just, it doesn't. It, you're, you're asking someone, you're going out your way and watch an hour show or uh, um, wherever how long the movie, two hours, wherever, they're doing a live action um my hair damn movie or show i don't know i didn't look too much information but i'm not liking it already because you know they're gonna change some stuff around they're gonna cut some stories out they're gonna make their own made their own story that's why her keep keep a uh, cowboy bebop did and that's what was bad and and you, if you gotta choose to watch something you gotta choose the live action my hair academia or the anime which one are you gonna choose to watch? To give up time your day, you know, you have like maybe an hour to watch something before work, or you have uh, a couple like thirty minutes. You have something to watch, some free time to watch something before you have to do something else. And what are you gonna choose? A live action My Hero Academia or the live action, I mean the anime My Hero Academia? Which version you gonna choose? That's what I'm getting you at. I'm asking you that question. Why? Do we want live action? It's already we already have something perfect to watch. It's an anime. It's already good. We got our imagination, our thrills, the cool artwork, design, good stories. Um, they're copying everything right from the manga that we're reading. If you're a manga fan only, and they're copying that same story straight to them um, on the anime. So everything's perfect right there. But the live action, you know, they get changed some stuff around. You know, they are. They did that with Death Note. They did that with Cowboy Bebop. They did that with Dragon Ball Evolution. They did that with all that. In One Piece, same thing. You think they could copy everything from the anime. And it, it fell a lot. I have not heard so much success of the live action. Maybe one. I think the Roy Kenshin got pretty good reviews. Um, but which one are you going to choose there, too? Are you going to choose the anime or Roy Kenshin to watch, you know? And sometimes, like, that's why I feel like. You know, some with the Marvel, it's kind of different story, but I know it's still that they compare a lot as well. Like when they do, they did the She Hulk story, I mean, She Hulk, um, Disney Plus, right? Live action She Hulk and everything. Um, there's no anime to compare to. There's nothing else. Just the comic book. They're getting all that info from comic book. So some people like She Hulk. I didn't like She Hulk. It was terrible. But you still got compare. You got to get some details, and they, they even don't. They don't do that right. They don't get all the, the details from the comics. You know, they don't get the right stories, their outfits, or whatever. They don't do everything. Hollywood does whatever they want. And sometimes that, that is a lot. That's a bad idea a lot of times. A bad idea a lot of times. Because it's already perfect already. The story's perfect. Why change it? Why this and that? Why change the character? It's perfect already. Um, same thing with the anime. They're going to change your characters. They're going to change... The look, how they look, how they played, how older they are. They'll go look more older. Just it's going to be terrible. How they act, the personality. They're not going to get out of detail. So why I'm going to watch something they're going to change? And that's already good and perfect already. No, that's why I said sometimes it's not even worth watching. You know, Even all the Disney Plus stuff is not even worth, worth watching. I'd rather go read a Moon Knight comic book that I got everything in one. It's already perfect. Maybe go read the best Moon Knight comic book out there. So yeah. This is the character I want, not the one they made in live action. That's not my Moon Knight. Same thing, My Hero Academia, when they make that, I'm going to go choose the anime. Because it's already perfect already. It's already perfect in my eyes, what I want, the feel, the way they got the characters, the, um, the art, the design, the colors. Everything's perfect. The story, My Hero Academia, when they do that, they're going to change everything. That's, that's the downside of all that. And who wants live action anymore? I wouldn't need to stop. Move on from it, get it out of here. I wish they do more live action. I mean, not live action. I wish they do more anime of everything. You no, know, imagine Marvel stop doing live action, 
right now they did a good job with the Avenger run. They did some movies that they have their up and down. The Avenger story was pretty good. They did a really good job. I think that's why they wanted to do. They want to do that with the anime. They can make it big. If they get it right. But they did it good. Leave it alone. But I think if they turn all that into an anime, you no, know, like a real life the animated movie of the Marvel Civil War, that'll be dope. You no, know, the comic book version exactly like a good two hour Civil War or series based on the Civil War. That'll be so sick. Secret Evasion, uh, Old Man Logan, rated R anime movie, the perfect Zach music for the comic books. Imagine that. That'll be ten times better. Ten times better than anything that Disney put out from the Marvel Universe. Ten times. They do a rated R, Old Man Logan, animated movie, that kind of like Into the Spider-Verse, ten times better. Knock out apart. I bet you. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think about this My Hero Academia live action? Do you really want that? Do you want to take a chance? Are you curious? Hmm. No, I'm not curious whatsoever. I don't want no more live action. No, I don't want no more live action anime adaptation. And sometimes I don't even want live action Marvel stuff. You know, it's getting a little silly. They're changing the characters around. Disappointing, like the whole Thor, what they did, Jane Foster. I'm a big Jane Foster fan. I didn't like that one bit. And... Uh, they got the look right. That was cool. The design, everything, but the story, all that was terrible. You know, they did terrible um, on the villain in that movie. Doesn't picture the combo character. Just a lot. They they dropped the ball a lot. Marvel, you know, if it, it's just bad, and I don't want that to be the anime community as well. I don't want them to change stuff. I don't want them to drop the ball. I don't want all that stuff anymore. They're trying their hardest. They're trying to compare, it, do the hardest they can. I know Japan's doing a bunch of the live action. Doing the hardest to recreate into live action. But why, why do we want it? The animates there. I'd rather go watch the animates. Watch that. It's shorter. They got what I want. Everything perfect. Why? No. That's, I just want to throw my thoughts in there, you know? About the whole live action anime. Do we really want it? I don't. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you want live action in me? What do you guys think of My Hero Academia? And what's your thoughts on all of this? Please comment below. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts. But. Thank you all for watching my videos. Please go check out my other content, my YouTube channel, Mr. Chilling Nuts Forever. Go check out my anime reviews, my manga reviews. Go check out my toy picks. Go check out my um, my movie reviews. All that. I talk about all the cool nerd stuff. So if you're new, please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. You like my video. But I'll talk to you all next time. Have a good day and good night. Remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.